What are your do nots in a fine dining situation? From a chef working in fine dining, don't stress. It's just food, and our main goal is that you, the diner, have a great time. Most of us cooks are in it for the love of food and cooking, and we love nothing more than to make people happy with our food. Order a prime cut of steak well done? We'll groan and silently judge, but we'll make it the best damn well done steak you've ever had. You only eat steamed vegetables without seasoning? Fine, we'll make you a beautiful steamed veg platter. Wanna fill up on bread? Great, we'll pack up your dessert course as nicely as we can. Don't know shit about wine? That's what we have some LEAs for, and they work hard with the chef to find the perfect match for everything on the menu. Don't know which utensil to use? When a server is making $500 in tips on a slow night, they're well trained to be patient and accommodating to all guests' needs, including teaching them the finer details of cutlery placement. The restaurant industry is a labor of love, and those of us in it love nothing more than to share our love of it with others. Don't be afraid to sound dumb. That's the only way to learn. Do not be intimidated. Ask the waiter what you want, and how you want it cooked. Relax, it's going to be expensive. You are there for good food, and to relax. If the waiter is pompous, or looking down on you, ask for the head waiter, tell him the issue, and have him replaced. The only rule in a very expensive, high-end restaurant, is do not annoy the other diners. If you're there for business, on someone else's dime, use your manners and proper etiquette. Avoid slurping the soup or smacking your lips when something is tasty. Don't tell that you're allergic to something if you just really don't like it. I serve at a pretty fancy restaurant. It's amazing how many grown ass adults have atrocious table manners. I don't mean snotty etiquette. I mean like chew with mouths open, yak on the phone loudly, put their feet on the seat and just bark orders like a spoiled child who spend their youth screaming at their parents and caregivers without being told no. I can also generally tell what kind of tip I'm going to get based on how polite, rude you are. When the waiter brings you your filet mignon and it's medium well instead of medium rare, don't choke them with their uniform tie. It's the chef's fault and most likely intentional so you are legally allowed to challenge him to a duel with either crossbows or swords. You should pick crossbows because most chefs are terrible shots and at least above average with bladed weapons. Are we talking, sort of upscale Olive Garden, fine, or, Le Bernardin, fine? The former, I don't ask, what has the most shrimp? The latter, I don't order anything I don't recognize, or that won't be spoiled just by knowing the price. Pro doing lines on your bread plate. Use the back of the toilet in the bathroom like a normal person. I try really hard not to cuff my runny nose. I was brought up with fine dining, table habits by parents that valued proper children over happy children. Thankfully, they're totally on board with having happy adult children, and it turns out I'm a few steps away from being a wild animal, so some really uncouth habits have formed. Plus, I have a perpetually runny nose. No. Never drink from a glass without wiping your lips first. The other people at the table don't want to look at your greasy food residue left behind. Contribute to the conversation, but do not dominate it. Do not tuck your napkin into your shirt collar. It goes in your lap. Do not forget to offer to pass the bread, butter, sugar, cream. When you need to get up from the table, excuse yourself but do not make a giant scene, deal about it. Do not order anything you need to eat with your hands, or spaghetti. Pour your companion's wine tea, sake, champagne. As a clumsy goblin with fancy parents, if you drop something on the floor, leave it there. Crawling under the table to rescue cutlery is a bigger faux pas than politely asking the waiter for a new fork. Utensils are outside first. Work your way in. Don't tuck you napkin under your collar. Don't scarf your food down. Don't start eating before everyone else is served. If you're at a dinner party, don't start eating until the host sits and picks up their utensil. When you're finished, place your utensil at the 4 o'clock position. Say please and thank. Don't reach over anything except your own dish. Always order meat that is already deboned. Or else I'm going to reveal my working class background by grabbing that lamb chop with my bare hands. Make pig noises while eating. If there are no prices on the menu, I do not eat there. Please don't help. 
the staff clearing the plates. The staff has a system and your help is slowing them down tremendously. Not to mention the much higher chance anything will be spilled on you because you never learn to lock the rest of the cutlery with the forks. Just let them do their job and enjoy your evening. Do not ask for a third bottle of wine this time. Fine dining, especially like in a traditional setting in Europe, is a dance. They are career individuals whose joy is to make your experience the best it can be. If you are not sure, ask their recommendation or ask for a little help. In the same vein, if you are experienced, respect their craft and the evening will be like a dance. Everyone will be happy, laughing, and engaged. Treat them as partners and I guarantee you will have an experience like no other. Of course, they have to be up for it as well. Learn your part. What smells, tastes, sights, and textures you like and don't like. There are options and there are some limits. Listen and look for hints. Ask questions. Be engaged. I remember this as happening once for me and some extended family in Paris on a trip. It was magical. No spaghetti. I have some hand tremors and coordination issues with my left hand. Spaghetti means mess unless I lower my face to the plate and shovel. Either way it's not a good look. Don't bring small children with you. They won't enjoy it. You won't enjoy it. And if you can afford to go to such an establishment, you can afford a babysitter. Do your best to stick to your server. I can't get your bill or get you a new bottle of wine if I'm not your server. Also dudes, don't pretend to be a wine snob to impress your date. It is so easy to see through and I get embarrassed on your behalf. Do not click your fingers in order to summon the waiter or waitress. When taking butter, don't use the serving knife to spread it on your bread. Use the serving knife to take a slab of butter and deposit it onto your plate. Then use your own knife to spread it on your bread. If you are at a restaurant, any restaurant not just fine dining, that serves a cuisine that is not of your cultural background, do not mock the accents of people from that cultural background. Not when ordering, not when discussing the menu, and not when conversing at your table you think is private. Don't do it at all, ever, but certainly not in public and at a volume where other people can overhear. It may sound hard to believe that there are troglodytes that would actually behave this way, but money does not buy class. Don't show up in a hoodie, jeans with holes in them and sneakers. Do. Eat don't. Shit yourself. Making a sailor's hat out of the fine linen napkins. Lifting up your shirt and using the silverware to bang on you nipples while running around screaming. I'm Captain Nipple Pants. I am Captain Nipple Pants. You may not get arrested for it, but I did. Don't ask for tomato ketchup or HP sauce, it won't go down too well. Do not ask for some of my food. Do not butter your whole piece of bread. Take butter from the butter dish and put it on your bread plate. Then only butter each bite. Also, if you don't know which bread plate is your, make the OK hand signal with both hands. The left one forms a B and the right forms a D. So bread plate is on your left and drink is on your right. Don't wear a hat. Fine dinning waiter here. We're taught to pass food with our left hat over your left shoulder. We pick up food over your right shoulder. So, my advice is, when the waiter comes over, 1. Have some situational awareness and sit back. People see me take food from the person to their left and they keep leaving forward. Sit back, asshole. 2. Don't move around too much. Thanks. Don't lose out on enjoying the meal because you are concerned about etiquette you don't know. The staff have seen it all, and in fact if you're uncertain about something you can just ask. How do I eat this? I've never had this here. What is it and what is it like? How can it be safe to eat raw beef? Are all legit questions. I have a wicked high metabolism and I've been told when I eat it looks like I haven't eaten for weeks. I basically wolf my food down. Not on purpose really it's just how I eat. Now I try to very slowly eat my food which is annoying. Even after being the first one to finish at the dining table I typically order more food because I'm just hungry lol. If you call the server garçon you are a dick. It means boy and as condescending as fuck to use towards waitstaff. Don't take pictures of your food. Flash photography is very irritating to the people sitting around you who are also paying a lot of money to have a fine dining experience. Just enjoy the taste of the food and the memory of it. 
Don't order the milk steak. Do not take your wine glass by the glass, but by the stem. I see many people make this mistake. When you take it by the glass, you actually heat the wine. The Don't bite your damn fork. Don't wave your empty glass at your waiter, waitress for a refill. Do not ask the hot waitress if she wants your meat as she serves you your filet mignon. Do not pull a Gordon Ramsay. For those of you who don't know what pulling a Gordon Ramsay is, do not walk into the kitchen and call the chefs fucking donkeys or cuss them out for missing the fucking lamb sauce, cooking raw fucking meat, or just being a fucking dumbass. This will only piss the chefs off and result in them throwing whatever is in their hands at the moment at you, usually a knife or pan. Do not ask for the chocolate lava cake. It's too good. It will result in 20 to 35 cakes being eaten by you and then lead to you gaining 10 to 15 pounds. Do not fall for the trap. Fisting the waitress. Don't order something if you aren't sure what it is. Sweetbreads are a good example. Don't flap your napkin. Just fold it in half and put it on your lap. I went from just a few points to a whole do and do not list. Well, you asked for it. Do nots. 1. If in a group, and you know who's paying, do not get something that is outside the price mean of what everyone else is getting, even if the host says that you are free to get whatever you want. 2. If you're having a multi-course meal, do not start eating right away. Different countries, and even individual territories, states have their own rules for when to begin eating. Generally, research local customs. But when in doubt, wait for the host, head couple and at least half the table to be served before beginning to eat. Usually someone will cue you to begin eating. 3. Even though it may feel posh and overdone, the rules of fine dining stem from centuries of cultural developments. It is, for the most part, easier for the common man to enjoy a fine dining experience without having to spend a year's worth of salary. Therefore, do not discourage people with the rules of fine dining. Act as a mentor, joyfully encourage them, and correct people when necessary. Don't be a null about all the rules. Just be an example of them, and new people to fine dining will notice. 1. Add on to point 3. The rules of fine dining provide you an elevated sense of a food experience. Once you get used to them, it is a genuinely enjoyable experience and one that you will never forget. You'll feel like you've been treated like royalty. Enjoy it. 4. Do not bring up politics or controversial topics unless that is the point of the meal. Don't dive into talking shop right away. Let the conversation naturally develop to that point, or wait for the host to bring it up. 5. Gentlemen, be gentlemen. Ladies, be ladies. Act civilly and don't start arguments with guests or staff. 6. Gents, do not talk over the ladies, and in general don't be a dominator. 7. Ladies, do not make the man be your manslave for the dining experience. 8. Do not leave for phone calls by rushing away from the table. Excuse yourself without causing a huge disruption. 9. Do not continuously check your phone for texts or emails while in conversation. Some do's. 1. Before even arriving at the restaurant, coordinate with the host or check online for the menu. 2. Ask the host for a dress code. Don't dress like a pig, but don't overdress that you look better than everyone else. You'll unintentionally intimidate the hosts. 3. Do be a few minutes early. 4. If you need to use the restroom, freshen up, or for whatever reason leave the table, excuse yourself politely and in a dignified manner. 5. Gentlemen, be chivalrous, hold open the doors for others, especially your date. Pull out the seat for her and push the chair in as she sits, unless there are waiters who are doing it for you. If appropriate, stand when your date leaves the table out of respect for her, but also to help her leave her seat if necessary. 6. Ladies, if a gentleman is trying to be chivalrous, do be charitable and accept the gestures, unless he's being too overbearing with it, like refusing to let you talk to the waiter because the lady shouldn't even have to speak. 7. Do practice. Fine dining can take a bit of time to get used to. It's okay to make mistakes or feel a little uncomfortable. It's a new experience. Embrace it and have some fun. I've made no suggestions on silverware etiquette because it is highly dependent on your region culture much like when to begin eating. Remember that fine dining is highly tailored to each region. Continental U.S. West Coast dining can be different than East Coast, and Continental U.S. is different from German fine dining.
The ultimate do. Do your research on where you will be dining. Eat soup by inserting the spoon from the side close to you. Scoop while moving it away from you. Then lift. Bonus points. Tilt the bowl away from you while scooping using the same motion. One that personally annoyed me in a fine dining situation. The waiter must individually serve you pieces of bread. My wife and I tried eating at Hubert Keller's restaurant in San Francisco. While I'm in conversation with my wife, a waiter interrupted me to push a basket of assorted bread at me and ask me if I wanted some. Startled, I started to grab a piece with my own hands. The waiter scolded me and let me know he must put a piece on my plate with his little tongs. I wasn't used to this protocol and found it really annoying. If you have a nice variety of fresh baked bread for us, put it on our table where we can try any of the breads at our leisure, and don't interrupt my conversation unnecessarily. I try to avoid or at least minimize sauces in the things I order because I'm a klutz and I'm certain to get a glop of something on my suit or my tie. Order what you have instead of what you want. You are likely to have the best version of whatever it is you are going to eat and it may be a different experience than what you are used to. Not really a do not but still good advice. If you need to excuse yourself mid-meal, to use the toilet for example, your napkin goes on the seat of your chair. At the end of the meal your napkin goes on the table. Also, your fork and knife shouldn't keep switching hands. You should rotate your plate instead of passing utensils back and forth between your hands. Crack any jokes like, what is an orphan's family photo called? Or, what do you call a Mexican drowning in mayonnaise? My, do not, is, do not, fine dine. I'm broke. Help me. Don't fill up on bread like my dumb ass. I paid $140 for two meals and I could only eat about one quarter of mine because their bread was so amazing. If you order lobster, it's okay to wear a bib, but you're still not allowed to ask the waitress to burp you. Do not bring your baby to a fine dining establishment. As a waiter of fine dining who works in fine dining daily, I can honestly say a lot of these answers are trying way too hard and are overly pretentious. Eat your food, pay your bill, tip 20%, and GTFO just like any other place lol. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you.